Prophet ﷺ prayed a night until his feet cracked and bled. Bilal, as usual, would come to wake him up just before the Adhan of Fajr to notify him. The Prophet ﷺ opened the door and he looks at the Prophet ﷺ in that state and he says, Ya Rasulullah, why do you do this? Allah has forgiven all of your sins. Why do you push yourself to that, to that limit? The Prophet ﷺ told him, Shall I not be a thankful servant? Shall I not be grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? And it shows this is the apex that we humanity can reach to. And that's to be thankful, to be grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Gratitude is something that Allah loves. And it shows a good essence in us humans. It shows that, that our, pure, our hearts are pure and beautiful. And they are filled with iman. And the Prophet ﷺ indicated that thankfulness is an attitude. An attitude towards the creator of life himself and even towards his creation. So the Prophet ﷺ said, The person who's not thankful to humans, to people, for the good that they do, then this person won't be even thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because gratitude is impersonal, it's an attitude. It's a feeling of being indebted, is an appreciation of the blessings that come to you, obviously, originally from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but even the people that Allah chooses to be conduits and channels through which His blessings reach you, you're supposed to be, Allah teaches us to be thankful even to them. And that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made the second obligation after uh, Tawheed of, of Himself, after worshipping Him alone, he made that to our parents because they are the ones who have the most uh, or the ones that we are indebted, indebted to the most. That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَقَضَى رَبُّكَ أَلَّا تَعْبُدُوا إِلَّا إِيَّاهُ وَبِالْوَالِدَيْنِ إِحْسَانًا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in a few places in the Quran and the Sunnah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala connects the worship towards Him, which is in essence gratitude also to gratitude to the parents. So this shows, you know, the station and the weight of gratitude with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And again, this is an attitude. It shows in every situation. It's not a selective matter, but it is something that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala appreciates. And Allah praises the people who, who display this kind of attitude. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَقَلِيلٌ مِنْ عِبَادِيَ الشَّكُورُ And very few among my servants are thankful and grateful. And the Prophet, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says again in the Quran concerning the ones that he would reward immensely that we shall reward immensely uh, the ones who are grateful. Some of the elements of gratitude is first waking up, growing conscious of the blessings, of the gifts, not taking them for granted. Because unless we realize something is a blessing, we won't be motivated to be grateful for it and be thankful. So the first aspect or the first step in gratitude is becoming conscious, waking up to the reality of blessings. Because most of us, or actually all of us, all of humans, we wallow, we are swimming in an ocean of blessings that we take for granted to the point that we treat them or we behave as if they don't even exist. And we only start to realize that they are blessings once we start to lose them. And that shows a state of ghafla, state of uh, an unconscious state, unawareness. And that means our attention is actually directed somewhere else. Because when we focus on what seems to be missing, what we want and what is not coming our way, then we tend to forget about what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala already brought us, already has given us. And this is one of the main reasons why people are not grateful, are ungrateful, is because they are unconscious in the first place. Is that we have a very subtle sense of entitlement. We think, we think gifts come by themselves. We think gifts are supposed to be here in the, in the first place. This is how things are meant to be, but we don't realize or we tend to forget that 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't owe us anything. Anything. Yet, He shows us with His mercy. Imagine the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Imagine the creation of Allah on this planet. Not only humans, animals, plants, insects, and invisible creation that we don't know of. All of those, imagine each and every individual one of them, how many blessings shower them are from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now we're just talking about the earth. We're just talking about the earth. What about the rest of the universe? What about the other creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? What about the angels of Allah? Each one of them has blessings from Allah, showered every day with blessings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Prophet ﷺ pointed to the number of the angels remotely by saying on the journey of al-Isra al-Mi'raj when he spoke about al-Bayt al-Ma'mur the Prophet ﷺ says يَدْخُلُهُ كُلَّ يَوْمٍ سَبْعُونَ أَلْفَ مَلَكٍ فَإِذَا خَرَجُوا مِنْهُ لَمْ يَعُودُوا إِلَيْهِ أَبَدًا Every day 70,000 angels come into al-Bayt al-Ma'mur to worship and they never come back meaning every day every day there is unique 70,000 angels entering Al-Bayt Al-Ma'mur to worship and that's since the early days of creation till the end of time. So a huge number of angels, each one of them, every blessing in their life is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we are supposed to turn to Allah in gratitude and appreciate His, His magnificence and His greatness and His glory, how bountiful, how generous He is and realize that the world that we live in is all of it is made of blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala only if we open our eyes and our hearts to realize gratitude is more as I said as a, is, is in attitude and actions it's not just in words because it's very easy to be courteous and say thank you to someone when it's actually not a reality in your heart and you don't act with what it necessitates because every kind of blessing or gift that you receive makes you in debt. It places an obligation, a response upon you that you are supposed to show. So there is a commitment that comes with blessings. And this is why the Arabs used to say, Man adda ilayya ma'roofan that whoever offers me a favor does something good extends some kind of good towards me I become captive to them I become captive to them because I haven't paid them back the Prophet ﷺ said also pointing to how gratitude is is not limited to words the Prophet ﷺ says Man sana'a ilaykum ma'roofan whoever extends any good towards you, reward them. Pay them back. Pay them back. So, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks to Prophet Dawood alayhi salam. And he says, I'malu ala Dawood a shukra. I'malu ala Dawood a shukra. Oh Dawood, the household of Dawood, the family of Dawood, the followers of Dawood alayhi salam. Act in gratitude. Express your gratitude in the form of action towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And our gratitude to Allah is to acknowledge Him, to worship Him alone, to realize His glory and His magnificence in our hearts, to demonstrate His love in our heart state and in our actions and in our life choices. And then to act in obedience. Obedience is an act of gratitude, is, a, is, is an act of, of, of thankfulness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala holds people accountable on the Day of Judgment Allah will ask people, مَا فَعَلْتَ فِي مَا أَنْعَمْتُ عَلَيْكِ What did you do with my blessings upon you? You're going to be asked about them. Why? Because they place an obligation upon you. You need to act accordingly. So this is the life of a believer. This is the life of a believer. It is a story of gratitude towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's a beautiful thing. It's the most noble thing in, 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 the, in the human experience that you appreciate goodness. That you are, you, you, are, you are very thankful. And again, this borders something, a very valuable and beautiful concept that is known in the Arabic language as Al-Wafa'a. 
الوفاء which is you remain loyal to someone who's extended just a simple act of kindness toward you you remain loyal to them thankful to them indebted to them and this is again a reflection of a beautiful heart and a pure soul and a very cultivated sense of nafs and self and this is something that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves Productions. <laughs>